Yo, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys can hear me pretty well. Today I'm going to be kind of breaking down the new Hogwarts Legacy gameplay trailer that we just got yesterday. There's a lot to go over. I've seen it about twice now. It's 14 minutes of brand new gameplay from the upcoming video game Hogwarts Legacy. Now this is the Wizarding World video game that's finally coming out. You know, we haven't had something like this in a very long time. But nonetheless, I'm going to go over it today with you. And uh, it'll be awesome. I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. I just haven't made a Harry Potter video in a, in a really long time. Uh, I started making those like when I first started my channel, but I don't know, there just hasn't really been much news, you know, regarding the Wizarding World. So, and a lot of Star Wars stuff been coming out. So like, it was, it's a lot easier to make videos on that. But now we finally have something to talk about. So that's why I'm here today and I'm very excited for this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the trailer right now and we'll start talking about it. Port Key Games, The Wizarding World. Lumos. This is all captioned on the PS5, which is exactly what I have, so it's perfect. What do you think you're doing here? Some centaurs. Lumos. Troll. Dragon. Right here we see a, a wide shot of Hogwarts. Um, it does look a little bit different from what we've seen in the movies. But then again, this game is set like in the late 1800s and the, the movies that we've seen. You know, the Harry Potter story is set in the late 1900s, so, you know, it's been like a whole century. I mean, this is a magical castle, so, like, it's bound to change over time, you know? But yeah, it looks really cool so far. Let's just keep watching it. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic and who is seeking Some to goblins? it to destroy wizard kind as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world but before you can study magic and be the great hall looks amazing just want to point that out to solve these mysteries you must create the witch or wizard you want to be so you get to create your own character which we already knew before but it's just showing Showing off some uh, customization right here. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses: Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle in, all the common dungeon, rooms. You will meet up I'm a Ravenclaw. In the common room, you will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending. Ch so it says we're starting off as a fifth year student. Which we already knew as well. It, this was already like announced by them. And a lot of people are, are wondering, you know, why wouldn't we start as a first year? So like as an 11 year old, basically. And I can think of a few reasons. One, you wouldn't be able to, as a first year, you wouldn't be able to uh, go to Hogsmeade. And Hogsmeade is in this game. You don't get to go there until uh, your third year at Hogwarts. So that's one reason. Another one would be you wouldn't be able to be in a magical creatures class because you get that in your third year as well. I guess we could start as a third year, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know why they chose fifth year. Maybe because they thought we would want to play with like an older student. But yeah, there's just like limitations if you were to start as a first year. So yeah. Charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes to name a few. I love how it's open world. This is amazing. <laughs> Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. We will start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. You may begin. So this is like the little dueling mat that we saw in Chamber of Secrets. Not bad for a beginner. 
Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for... So we saw right there, we just passed it, but it was like the potions classroom. We'll get to make some potions. Uh, we did get to make potions in the uh, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince game. That was on the PS2, PS3, Xbox, and uh, Xbox 360. So, I mean, we have had potion in making before, but I'm sure it'll be more advanced this time. This shot looks pretty cool. Just walking around the courtyard, it looks like. Uh, a lot of students just hanging around. Looks amazing. For its secrets, enchantments. Grand staircase and looks kind of different. I don't know if that's the grand staircase. You'll discover. You may even find yourself in iconic locations using... So right here is the the kitchens, the Hogwarts kitchens, and this is only mentioned in the books. So house elves work for Hogwarts kitchen. They make all the food that's served in the Great Hall. Never shown in the movies, but yeah, it's pretty cool that we get to see places that were only mentioned in the books. So we've never actually like seen it before. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that this is really cool. Some house elves making food right here. It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Uh, Nearly headless Nick. What's the matter? They actually know him from Harry Potter, the ghost. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. One's designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your I have no school. idea what, what game that is. Ah, uh, I didn't pause it in time. But I think there's going to be Quidditch in this game. They just don't show it off. Opportunities for adventure abound in the ending Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested. I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. Creatures corrupted by a magical Here we see some combat. Powerful goblins and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. I think the combat looks really good. The alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, but all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student. Take down your distraction. Who is this child? Do you not tell him me? This shot looks awesome. Uh, this must be outside, off somewhere else, outside of Hogwarts. Uh, probably on the, like the outskirts of the map or something. But it looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of like uh, Uncharted or something. Repetitive. Spells in combat. So we saw him cast Repero right there. Fixing spell. Repairing spell. <laughs> Priori Incantatum. That looks like Stupefy. Including some sort of freezing spell. Petrificus Totalis. ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. I'm sure there's so many spells in this game. Allowing you to follow up with extended spell combinations. That's sick. Combat looks really good in my opinion. We, we don't really see games like this, so... All you can compare it to is like the older Harry Potter games. And this is a huge improvement. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest foes. Like, look at that. Crazy. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. In addition to classes and skills, talents and abilities, you have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills to aid your progression as a wizard. Complete challenges throughout the world to earn experience. Level up your I'm sure there will be a lot of easter eggs in this game. Spells, plants, 
and like related to like Harry Potter and Design what we know from the movies style, and stuff like that. Has to be. Once I get this game, Here I'm gonna be exploring like crazy. That's like the first thing, or one of the main things I want to do, is just like explore everything. Potions, herbology, and beasts. All right, so he's making some potion right here. Witch or wizard. Brew potions which can increase your power when you need a boost. So yeah, you can like brew some potion that like helps you in combat, which is really cool. I never really thought about that. Grows deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. <laughs> this guy's got some plants that are helping him while fighting uh, this goblin, it looks like, or whatever. So there's a lot of interesting ways you can, you know, approach, like, combat situations. It's really cool. That way it's not repetitive. Like a man- he pulls out a mandrake. <laughs> oh, here's a- I can't even think of what it's called. Both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver. So this is really cool too. So like you don't have to walk around, you know, the whole map to get around. You can use a broom, which makes sense because I mean, what else are you gonna use in this type of world? But I thought that was really cool that you can travel by broom. Like once you learn how to do it and all that, I think I think it explains you have to like learn to do it to use it or something. But yeah, pretty cool. On a broomstick, safe. Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so yeah. that you may travel around the world more quickly. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. I like how you have to earn everything. Some abilities work for may be it. taught to you by students who become your friends. Chips with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. That's kind of cool. Time, you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. So you make some friends and they'll follow you around eventually. driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, connecting with them more easily than with humans. What happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules. Sneaking in the restricted section again. Is that supposed to be like a alternate version of Peeves? Boy, <laughs> cannot reverse a curse with a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. The Room of Requirement. So this is something we've seen before in the movies. And in the books, whatever. The Room of Requirement. So whatever you need happens to be in that room. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and upgrade your gear. Sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. I thought this was kind of cool. You can like make your own little your own little place. I'm so happy with those hippogriffs in this. I mean, there there has to be. So I'm glad you can like fly one around, just like the old games. So here's Hogsmeade. Finally, where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. So since there's, no, I'm pretty sure there's no Diagon Alley in this. So like, where you get your wand and your robes and all that is gonna be at Hogsmeade. I'm assuming. I know there's a Ollivanders in Hogsmeade on this game. So yeah, just want to point that out. From potion ingredients and recipes, the seeds you can buy potions to all sorts of gear. Clothes. Pretty cool. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the times wander the village outskirts. As the school year progresses, dynamic seasons. Say I'm glad they put that in, like the climate's change. The or coat the ground with it's awesome. Like or seasons, rain. like we see in the movie and stuff. Especially when it starts snowing, when you go to Hogsmeade, it'll look just like the Hogsmeade does in the films. Vendors and residents who have stories to tell, designed by Merlin himself, when he was a student at Hogwarts. 
magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. I'm hoping we see some uh, acromantulas like uh, like Aragog. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. The Killing Curse. So you can be a bad wizard in this, which is really cool. You can get on your own path. You can be evil wizard or a good wizard. I love the freedom. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be. Imagine just going around and killing everybody with the Avada Kedavra curse. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. You probably can't do that, but. Hell yeah! So that was Hogwarts Legacy, the gameplay trailer that came out yesterday. I am very impressed with how the game looks so far. We've waited quite a long time already. They already delayed it a year. It was supposed to come out in 2021 and they delayed it to 2022. So, and before that, like the game leaked like in 2018. I've just been waiting for this game for so long and I feel like a lot of people have. So once I get this game, I'm gonna be on it probably 24 seven. Um, hopefully I'm streaming games on my channel by that point or maybe not on my channel but on Twitch by that point because I, I still want to start doing that I just I need some more things more equipment and stuff like I need a capture card I need another monitor for my PS5 and uh, I kind of want a better mic as well so but yeah hopefully I'm streaming at that point when this game comes out because I, I would love to stream this game for sure I've always wanted a Harry Potter like Wizarding World game it looks like there's a lot of freedom in it which is awesome the one thing I really wish this game had is multiplayer because I know this is being advertised as like a single player open world RPG, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like it has a lot of potential to be like a, a massive multiplayer online game, you know, it doesn't even have to be like that, but at least have like a co-op or like something where you can bring one of your friends to your world so you can explore Hogwarts together. And just do everything together like that would be so cool um go to classes um you know fight people whatever so i feel like that's kind of a downfall but either way i'm gonna be playing it lots of people are gonna buy it it's still gonna be awesome hopefully but yeah and then i'm sure there's quidditch in the game we just it they didn't show it in the trailer it's inevitable you can see like the quidditch uh ring in the background on some of the shots so it's definitely there they're just hiding it keeping it a surprise I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how this story goes because i'm pretty sure you get to choose in a way how it goes you have a lot of options uh you have to make a lot of choices especially if you're gonna be like a bad wizard or whatever you get to go down your own path y you know the outcome is whatever you make it uh is, is kind of what i'm getting off of this this game so far so very excited for this game it's a good time to be a harry potter fan you know, the, the Wizarding World has been kind of on the down low for some time. Hasn't been much going on, especially with all the hate on JK Rowling. So, I don't know. I feel like it's been out of the spotlight for a while. We got the new Fantastic Beasts movie coming out uh, next month, I believe. Yeah, April something. Very excited for that. Happy to go back to theaters and, you know, watch this Wizarding World film. But I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and uh comment whatever you want helps me out hopefully we can get some more gameplay and you know just more overall news for this game in the coming months it says this game is coming out uh holiday 2022 so probably somewhere from like november like november december maybe october if we're lucky but yeah so we still got a little while but yeah anyways guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video